Hey kid, it's dark, the sun has set, and we're about to walk into a magical forest. Look at that, filled with a million twinkling fireflies. Corny the Unicorn, they're fireflies, also known as lightning bugs. Ooh, that's very cool. If I wasn't a unicorn, I would want to be a firefly. I think I, if I wasn't a storyteller, would also want to be a firefly. But we've got a firefly right here who doesn't want to be a firefly. What is that about? Well, let's get to the bottom of this. Firenze's light, Firenze. That is actually the Italian word for Florence. So her name is Florence, but we're going by her Italian name of Firenze. <gasps> and how about that? Two kid time story timers shine on. Thank you, Jessica, for writing the book and for dedicating it to you. Firenze likes dancing. Firenze likes books, like that. But there is one thing that Firenze does not like. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Firenze does not like her light. <gasps> it's always shining at the wrong time. At the movies, Mwah. at slumber parties, I can't sleep. During games of hide and seek, found ya. Oh. I see the conflict. Your light makes you unique, said her mother. No one shines just like you. I'll cover up my light, Firenze thought. Oh, that's a terrible thought. What did she do? Well, she went off and she started gathering leaves and wrapped them around like an a adorable skirt, frankly, like a grass skirt like in Alohaville or something. And she wrapped them around until her light was hidden. Mm. I mean, I like the skirt. I don't like the purpose of it. The next day, Firenze's friends needed her help. At the movies, Tick dropped a snack under the seat again. Firenze, can you shine your light down here? What light? I don't have a light, snapped Firenze. At the slumber party, Natalie whispered, Firenze, make your light shine. I'm scared of the dark. But Firenze let out a loud <sighs> She was just pretending to be asleep. During a game of hide and seek, Firenze hid in her best spot, deep in the dark bushes. Come on, Firenze, shouted Legs. It's too hard to find you when your light doesn't shine. Come on, Firenze. But Firenze pretended not to hear and she just flew away as fast as she could. This kid is what we call an identity crisis. Firenze found herself deep in the forest, far, far away from her friends. She'd hoped that they would just forget about her light, and she felt very sad. Just as she began to cry, she heard a strange sound coming from the bushes behind her. Firenze, well, she's brave. She drew closer to investigate. What are you doing? She asked. Creating my masterpiece, exclaimed the beetle, clicking his huge pincers. Ouch. I'm Kyrie. I am using my magnificent pincers to make wonderful art. Isn't it amazing? Oh, it's lovely. As she looked at Kyrie's art, Firenze's light began to shine through the patterns in the leaves. Oh, look at that. It was glowing on the leaves that he just made. Oh, how beautiful, Firenze gasped. Oh, sorry, that was Firenze. Oh, how beautiful, she gasped, enchanted by the colors and the shapes that appeared all around her. Look at that. Can you imagine having this reflected on your wall at night before bed? How soothing, like you're in a deep forest. Wow, whispered Kyrie. Your light is making my art even more magical. What a wonderful gift you have. Oh no, I don't like my light. I wish it would go away, 
She began grabbing leaves to wrap herself. No, no, not again. Oh, I understand, said Kyrie. I used to feel the same way about my pincers, but then I realized I am brilliant. I am wonderful. I am unique. Hmm. I wish I could feel like that about my life, Kyrie, but I don't. And Firenze exclaimed and flew off back home, looking quite upset. Oof. This is a hard identity crisis she's going through. Now, a few days later, <laughs> Firenze received a package, a very beautiful package. Dear Firenze, I made this skirt just for you. I hope you will wear it to my art show tomorrow. Your light is a gift. Let it shine. Love, Kyrie. Oh, look at that skirt. Gorgeous. I mean, even if you don't wear skirts, you have to admit, that is a piece of art. Wow, there she is wearing it right there. Look, there's the party going on, the art gallery, people looking, mingling, the friends are there. Well, Firenze felt nervous as she arrived at the art show the next day, but as her light glimmered through her skirt, she saw the faces of her friends. Oh, how lovely! Brilliant! See what happens when you let your light shine? Ooh, look at that. She's making patterns on everyone. While Firenze twirled on the stage, she realized how powerful her light, her, how powerful her light was. It was creating magical art and joy for her friends and happiness in her heart. Suddenly, Firenze felt very grateful and she was a firefly. Firenze grew to love her light, even when it was difficult, like in trying to hide. She always remembered the night she let her light shine for everyone to see. And look at that. She's not covering up her beautiful light anymore, is she? And now when she does wear a skirt, it's only to make the art of her light even more beautiful. And look, look at how proud she is. Look at how everyone is loving this. Isn't that the most beautiful party you've ever seen? And now we know that Firenze's is light. And well, your own light is something you can never cover up. Isn't that right, Corny? Yeah, I remember one time I did not want to have a horn. <gasps> really? But we came up with a solution, didn't we? Yay! We now have hats with a big hole on top for my horn! <laughs> and now you don't have to cover up what makes you unique. No! And what makes you unique makes the world a far more beautiful place. See you next time, kid, on... <laughs>